if you want to market your product in India. In many cases, 450 to be precise, you will need one of the two BIS certifications. In both BIS certifications, you must mark your product with the respective logo at the end of the certification process. However, in the case of BIS certification according to the FMCS or ISI scheme, this marking is also subject to a fee. Basically, each individual mark has a very small unit price, in fact, a few cents or fractions of a cent. But below a certain import quantity, and in most cases that means below 1 million pieces per year going to India, there is a basic charge. So how much is this basic fee? Well, we have to be precise here because each product has a slightly different basic fee. However, there is one very easy way for you to look up the specific fee for your product. We here at Era Certification have created a database on our website that contains this and more information. And in this video, I will show you how to use this database. So in your browser, please go to our website, that is era-certification.com forward slash en for English and click here on find your product. Now the section or the website that now opens already, you can see some information. Now in the beginning, this is just information on the database and not the actual database. Uh, this table includes all the certification types that have already been included into the database. This is because each and every single information in the database needs to be first collected and then manually put in or input into the database. So these ones have already been included and these ones are coming in the near future. Now we're looking for BIS, right? So that's already in here. So we can scroll down and we can get to the actual database interface. Now in this interface, we can select India in this, uh, in this country section here to further limit their search results because otherwise you can have many different results. Um, so yeah, let's just start and type in something, let's say rims. Now let's see what we get. All right, so we see automotive vehicle wheel rims for two and three wheeled, two and three wheeled, two and three wheeled, um, for trucks, L, to L and, and L category. All right, now here we can see this is AIS. This is not what we're looking for. We're looking only for uh, BIS, uh, but this is not for passenger vehicles. So in case you don't find the term that you're actually looking for, maybe try with a synonym. So in this case, we could, for example, go for wheels. Oh yes, and here we already see performance requirements and methods of tests for wheels for passenger cars. Now this is the product. And in this list, uh, in this first results, you can also see, uh, well, you can see initial information such as the uh, standard and the title of the standard. Please note that this search field in here searches every single um, cell of the table. So even if you don't hit the uh, hit hit the um, the term right, uh, you can try with a more general term and, for example, cars, and you can then find this one here. Well, you can also find it here, but anyway, you you get what, you get what I'm saying, right? Okay, anyway, so now that we're here, please click on these three dashes here on the left. You will also see, so now in this field, this window that's open, you will see the information that we have just seen in the page, but also some additional information. So, for example, well, we can confirm, okay, this is BIS ISI, we already know this. Now here, you can also see the, uh, a summary of the certification procedure. This can help you, of course, for your memory um, and for your record, but you can also take this and uh, easily explain it to your colleagues then. Now, the next two lines then concern some costs, uh, testing costs of, the, of your particular product and marking fees uh, precisely. Okay, so here we can see the marking fee for wheels for passenger cars is 3,190 US dollar, roughly. Now, underneath this number, you can also find some additional information, such as um, that this fee uh, is an annual fee, uh, and it also includes 
It's the basic fee for up to 1 million pieces per year that go to India. If you produce more than 1 million pieces per year that go into India, then every additional piece will cost an additional individual fee. However, the individual fee for uh, one unit is very small. It's, uh, it could be a few cents or even fractions of a cent per additional piece. Now, other costs, an example for application or for the inspection or for consultation, are not included in this, in this table because they depend on various factors. For example, where your factory is located, how many factories and products you want to have certified, how large individual factories are, etc. And this is why I haven't listed these here. In any case, if you are interested to uh, learn more about the other costs, you can, of course, find them on our website, on the respective certification page right here. All right, there's one more thing I want to show you. Namely, look at this, PDF view. If you click on PDF view, then uh, this PDF will be automatically downloaded. And this PDF is a printable version of the table that you just looked at. So you can print this out for your own records. And of course, you can also use this wonderfully for taking any notes. For example, if you're doing further research, or if you just want to share it with colleagues or um, superiors. Okay, that's it for today. I hope this information helps you in your preparation for the BIS certification. Of course, as always, feel free to ask any questions you may have. You can find the relevant contact forms on our website. Thank you for your attention. Take care.